Uh, hey, Wendy, I'm a beginner following your to Olympic training plan made easy, which I got on Training Peaks. I'm also spending more time in the pool since this is my weaker area. I've watched your videos on YouTube and started wearing fins as you recommended. Every time I wear fins, though, my toes and calves begin to cramp. Any ideas why and recommendations, Coach? Well, again, there's there's multiple reasons you cramp. You know, mainly people cramp usually with dehydration or low electrolytes and sometimes just being mindful of your daily hydration, put a little salt in your water, that might take care of the tr- care, take care of the cramping. Put an electrolyte tablet, tablet such as noon in your water bottle, which is what I recommend to the youth swimmers that I coach who tend to cramp and that takes care of the issue. You know, some people cramp more than others and that's just the nature of of kind of who they are and their genetics. And at the same time, if you're cramping specifically in the water, chances are high that you may not be kicking properly and you may be kicking from your knee down versus kicking from your knee up and using your quads and hip flexors to kick as well as not have flexible ankles. So if you if you can be more mindful of what you're doing from a kicking perspective and you have a loose toe point and you're actually pressing down with the top of your foot, I've seen out of all the so many swim analyses that I've done, I've seen a lot of improper kicks and a lot of it is just due to athletes who enter the sport as an adult who have inflexible ankles. And so that's probably what's going on. And then when you put on fins, the fins are trying to put your foot in proper position to use the top of your foot and ankle and, and hip flexor with a slight knee bend and you're resisting it because you're not used to that position. Usually when you wear fins, depending on how long they are, if they're short zoomer fins or just a regular long fin, it wants you to engage your quad and hip flexor. It tries to teach you the proper foot and leg position to kick. And maybe you could just be resisting that. So I also recommend, you know, not, you know, sending me a swim video for analysis just to be sure, as well as checking out so many videos we have on the endurance, our YouTube channel. One specifically is the anatomy of the kick where I demonstrate. And I just talk about specifically what's going on from the hip to the ankle. And that might help you. And you can go to endurancehour.com to find a link to that free swim form analysis. Uh, It's basically going to be sending your an email and then we'll send you directions on how to do so. It's pretty simple, endurancehour.com. 